Hello, my name is Barbara Köstner. I'm an archaeologist specialized in Roman and late Roman textiles. I'm here at the Royal Ontario Museum in Toronto thanks to the Veronica Gervers Research Fellowship. My research topic is on late Roman socks. So what I've done is introduced uh, some three-dimensional shaping into the interior of the stocking so that Barbara, our scholar, is able to look at them as a document. Dorothy Burnham was the first creator of textiles of the Rome. She was the first to explain the technique of nail binding and tarim stitch in detail and published her work in 1972. This is still the main source for details on this technique up till now. The socks look as if they were knitted, but in fact they are not. Knitting is worked with two needles, but the technique which was used for those socks is worked with one single needle and a short length of yarn. It's called nail binding. The stitch used for all those socks is the tarim stitch or Coptic stitch as they say. Uh, the oldest example of a piece worked in this stitch is from the tarim basin at western China and is dating back to 1000 BC. The socks we have here are a little bit younger. They are only 1500 years old. They come from Egypt where they were excavated in the dry deserts and that's why they are preserved in such a good condition. Not all of those needles can be used for nail binding, but the small ones, like the small bronze one over here, or the small bone one, can be used for this technique. There are several examples where you can see the strip of the sandal that had an impression on the sock and is still seen today. I mean, we, we've got the multi-stripe here, we've got a purpley red. What, what other colors are you finding on the stockings? Well, there are nearly every color uh, was used that was available in Roman okay. times. So there are petrol ones, there are dark green ones, there are those more natural colored socks. And um, yes, it's a very, very bright range of colors that was used to make those socks. Are there any letters or diaries that discuss yes. the socks? Yes, that's a good point. Yes. Um, because there actually are some letters. Oh, really? Okay. One is from Vindolanda. We do not know who did send this letter. And the letter says, I send you pairs of socks from Satua. And the second one is a soldier stationed in Alexandria. Okay. And he asks his father in Karanis, yes. Egypt as well, to send him some socks. I love it. The socks were worn by men, women and children. The shroud at the Metropolitan Museum of Arts shows a woman wearing a tunic with fringes and she's wearing lots of jewelry, so she is very wealthy. You can see that she wears bright red socks with her dress. There are also depictions of men wearing those socks, for example some knife handles or razor handles from Britain, where you can see the leg of a man wearing a sandal and with it a sock that is showing the same technical details as the socks we do have here. By looking at those socks very closely, we can learn a lot about their technique, who made them, who were them.